test of the new Tusk um, base layer and garment. Uh, it's minus three at the moment. We've uh, pretty much just stepped out of the car. It's, uh, it's really, really cold. Left hand side, purple side, I'm feeling really quite warm uh, and uh, tight fitting where the right hand side of my shoulder and underneath my underarm I'm feeling quite a bit of cold there and right the way down down my arm so there's yeah, certainly the cold with no no exercise no motion so far it's definitely the uh, the purple side so far I'd have to agree with John on, on that um, as we said it's minus three the sun's just starting to come up we haven't exerted ourselves at all we've just gotten out of the car I'm feeling probably a general coolness on the purple side but yeah, my underarm pit and down by my side on the wool side is definitely colder and uh, I suspect once we start moving things will change but that's my initial uh, feeling so far. our afternoon session and the wind's picked up a bit and just standing here taking the breeze on I'm feeling a bit cooler definitely over the arms particularly um, on the polyester side mm, yeah I'm feeling the same it's probably the first time I've actually felt cooler on that on that side so but yeah today it's probably about 14 degrees um, a bit of wind it'll be probably too cool just to wear the summer shirt but the uh, the base layer underneath both sides uh, makes it quite good actually, I feel pretty good, so yeah, very minor difference between the two. Well, we've been uh, walking for oh, probably about seven hours now today with the uh, the new base layer uh, Ron. It's been warmed up but there's a bit of wind around. Uh, we're just sitting here now and the wind's on our back and uh, the uh, polyester side's definitely a lot warmer than what the wool is. So. The wool side on a hot day you may think it would it would you know potentially cool you down better, but on a hot day you might not be wearing it necessarily. But yeah, certainly what's it now probably 10 or 12 degrees. Yep. We've been pretty warm, uh, or pretty wet. We had the backpack on, but yeah, the uh, it certainly seems to be uh, out of most things today so far. Really showing it. So we've gone from minus three this morning to probably 16 at the warmest. What about you, Dan? Yeah. Um, plus this morning too, just I noticed. <coughs> After I put on my base layer, I was just uh, testing to see how easy it was on to put, to put other garments on over the top and the polyester side, there's a, there's a sheen about it so it's, it tends to glide, uh, the fabrics glide across it so that was something else I noticed this morning. But um, yeah, I think hands down, like at least 80% of the time the polyester for us seems to be ticking the boxes. The wool on a couple of occasions when it got really breezy at one point. <coughs> Um, it seemed to have a slight advantage, but overall I think the polyester seems to be the business here. Yeah. Uh, we've got about probably two and a half hours of light left, it's starting to cool down, so it'll be interesting, we've obviously filled it full of sweat and it's pretty, uh, it's a bit damp at the moment, it's be interesting to see how it goes as we walk back and as it cools down and you know, see which one sort of retains the heat for us then, because yeah, the, um, yeah, well, uh, the times today, the wool has seemed warmer at certain mm -hmm. times, so we'll see what happens with it being wet on the way back. Yeah, and we've had packs on today too, so the small of our back is, is wet from perspiration, and we've got a gentle breeze on our back right now, and definitely the wool side's noticeably cooler than the polyester side, so yeah, just interesting to know.